good and evil are vying for our attention. What will we choose? What will win in our ambiguous world? Let's talk about how to evaluate our affairs, our life and the global world development. Any thought, action or decision can be measured in terms of biophilia or necrophilia. This concept came to us from the Toltecs. Biophilia is love for life, all that is living. Necrophilia is that which takes life or causes harm to living beings. How can we see in our everyday life the manifestation of necrophilia? From youth we are taught to live the one life we have at full speed. We try alcohol, drugs, sexual pleasures and the old pleasures that this world can give us. And at 40, 50 we are completely worn out and illnesses begin to surface. Trouble with blood pressure, heart disease. This way of life is necrophilic, it leads to death. Looking at biophilia, as it was in the times of the good civilizations, there was conscious knowledge of doing good, sharing what you have, helping others. For example, you have problems with your neighbor or friend and you see the bad things he does and you start to judge him. This is necrophilic. So you don't know his circumstances or problems. But if we could make an effort to get to know why he is behaving like he does, we could help him, include our heart and change the situation for the better. This is biophilic. I buy another car instead of helping a beggar. I lose my temper. Is this a biophilic or necrophilic paradigm? What consequences will it have for me? Gloom, self-pity, discontent, nostalgia, resentment, this is all necro. In the same way we can consider our world order. Any phenomenon should be judged by its consequences. No matter what technocracy or car industry might promise, no matter what modern medicine might reach, look at how many biophilic resources are lost in the process. Understandably, weapons are necessary for protection against enemies, but the Toltecs regarded them as a deadly beginning because uh, they are meant to kill. The Toltecs sincerely believed to not be killed, do not kill. Intensive farming with the killing of animals Barbaric use of plants and land is necrophilia. Natural agriculture, where people and animals live in harmony, is biophilia. Sports oriented towards competition, making money, fame, the ideals of rock music, fashion design, abstractionism, postmodernism, with the cult of cacophony, perversion, ugliness, transforms man into a semi-reptiloid being. The more we put our trust and technological progress and reptiloid rationality, the more foolish we become, because we make a choice that is leading to death. The separation of biophilic and necrophilic our patterns distinguishes high civilizations from the degraded ones. Ultimately, man is happy only when he is clearly moving towards absolute good. 
unconditionally, when his biophilic values prevail and his conscience is at peace. It was the Sunday message from the Cathars. See you soon.